I start yelling and screaming on air because, let me tell you, they're saying they'll secretly arrest citizens. They're saying they'll torture us. They're saying they'll take our guns. They're saying they'll let the U.N. run our military. I mean, the coup d'etat is on. And, uh, you know, you've got Mitt Romney going to meet at the White House tomorrow with a private lunch with the president just to kiss his hind end to make sure, hey, you know that was all show. You know that was all make-believe. Make sure our banking interests get, you know, as much access at the trough robbing the American people. My blood pressure went up quite a bit when I read this article and followed it to the TSA website where the Transportation Department, founded by Congress, funded by Congress, Constitution, Bill of Rights, it's all right there. The Congress runs the Transportation Department and funds it. I mean, this would be like your 10-year-old kid. You get home from work at about 6 o'clock, your 10-year-old is sitting in your easy chair, their feet kicked up on the couch next to him, And you say, hey, son, don't put your feet on the couch. How many times have I told you that? And your 10-year-old got up and said, shut up, you work for me now. By the way, turn your gun in, Dad. You're my slave. And Dad would get down on his knees, have his son put handcuffs on him, and then his son walk up and just stab him in the throat with an ice pick. I mean, that's about what this is. I mean, this is a joke. This would be like if you showed up and your neighbors were in your house and just announced it was theirs. I mean, it's so over the top. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I've got to reassess things now. This is moving way too quick. This is the most devastating sign I've seen, and I've got to collect my thoughts during the break and come back and just, just give some of the other examples. This is, I, I, this is unbelievable. If you go to InfoWars.com, you can link right through to the TSA's website, the, the public letter uh, saying that um, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And it's just like they said, no, Congress is not, has no authority over the military. And, the, and the, that happened almost a year ago. That first happened in January. That happened again in February and March. Three different hearings. Eight, nine months ago. I guess it was the latest. Eleven months ago, the oldest. And nothing was done. <laughs> nothing was done. And those of us that live in reality, it's getting pretty cuckoo to watch the rest of the public go along with this. And it's not fun to get up to these killers, these criminals, and get in their face. The only reason I'm not dead is because they don't want to turn me into a martyr. But, I mean, they're not going to, it's not going to matter soon. They're just going to start doing whatever they want. I mean, I know where this leads, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm always a man of my word, boy, but I told you, I mean, Switzerland is looking really good. And not that it's going to be perfect, but, my, I got this office, this command center. We're going to fight these people. We're going to go down with the ship. Uh, and giving in to them is what they want. we got to just fight them 110%. And we've got to call Rand Paul, Ron Paul, everybody. They should be on the floor freaking out over this and calling for a move in the Congress to lead a fight against the out-of-control bureaucracy. And they should call Pistoli in, and they should have him in contempt, which means jail time. I mean, he should be in jail. In jail. In jail. Instead, they've got the, the 1.6 billion bullets and the paramilitary force, and they've got the wiretaps on Congress, and they're telling Congress, you sit down and you shut up and you take your bribes and payoffs and your insider trading, and we're taking over. You got that? And Congress is like, yes, sir. Good. You don't score political points calling me up before you. You know you set us up to take over. You don't call us up for political points. Because that's all the Republicans are going to do. And talk about us groping people. We'll grope you and your family, and we'll ban you from flying if we want. Is that clear, Congress? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, God. Yes, sir, your government, God. There is only one God and its government, and Obama is its prophet. All right, we'll be right back. I mean, it's just, they're going to take everything. They're having congressional, they're taking your pensions, they're taking your property, they're taking your kids, national draft, everything. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.